Hello, all night, Mr. J. And I'm Moody. And I look forward to this day all week. Um, well, since yesterday. Um, well, I guess I'll go ahead and get into it. You already know what I'm drinking by the title. But, um, got me a bottle, a big bottle. I love, I love these bottles because they have the handles on them. Um, I got me a bottle of Jim Beam Apple. Ooh. Is it sweet or is it sour motor? Last time I checked, it was just, it's not a sour apple. Because I've... It's real good. Yeah, that kind of, you know what that kind of smells like? A uh, green apple Jolly Rancher. See, I had, all right, so oh, my, cousin, my, my, my cousin had a bottle of um, Crown Sour Apple, or Crown Apple, and that shit was sour. And it does have, uh, it's got kind of like a, um, a yellowish lime green color. Oh, I could see the fucking syrup in that. Yeah. All right. I'm scared to do this, but here we go. Uh, Not much bourbon. Not much bourbon. Exactly. That's smooth. That is smooth compared to crown apple. It's 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 just as smooth as the peach. It doesn't have much of an. Well, it kind of has an apple taste, but it kind of tastes like a green Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Um. Or green Jolly Rancher, and um, it's got a really sweet, sweet syrupy taste to it. But that is pleasant. See, whenever I think of green apple, anything that's green apple, green apple whiskey, green apple uh, bourbon, green apple anything, I always think of sour green apple. That's not the case with this. Although, um, I would honestly, I, this is something I could drink regularly. Um, so I'd rate it about a 5.5. Sweet. It's kind of too sweet for me, but I'm going to drink it anyways. Um, in other news, I actually got somebody new to try, uh, Southern Comfort. And she gave it an 8 or 9. That's amazing. Anybody who knows me personally, who, who has seen me, like, drink during the week and everything, everybody knows that Southern Comfort is my shit. Super, super sweet. Kind of got, like, a cough syrup taste to it. Um, but it's a sweet whiskey liqueur type thing nonetheless. And it's cheap to, well, uh, it's cheap for me. It's not cheap. I don't think it's cheap for Motor or the person I'm talking about. It kind of is. Well, she, almost, she paid almost 20 bucks for it. But like I say, it depends on what size. Yeah. I think it was like twenty bucks for a fifth, unless you bought the half gallon, then that's uh, that's not that bad. All right, so uh, I, I normally don't talk about the prices. So what can you typically find uh, Jim Beam Apple for? Uh, I think I paid like twenty two, twenty three dollars for a half gallon. Um, I would have gotten a fifth, but they didn't have any fifths, so I just went with the half gallon. Uh, me and my grandmother were also looking at some other uh, green apple stuff, like green apple pucker from uh, that decouper, or how you pronounce the person's name. The shit that the person that, or the company that makes schnapps, they had a green apple pucker thing. But the problem with that is it was really, really low proof. I think it was only like 15% alcohol. And anyone who knows me knows that 15% is... I, I If I drink a bottle that's 15%, I'll try, end up drinking the whole fucking bottle. And still not be to where I want to be. And I've seen another uh, apple... I've seen an apple-flavored whiskey. And um, it was a little bit more expensive than what uh, Jim Beam Apple was. Um, so I just went ahead and went with Jim Beam Apple. But uh, I might try and get, like... And just bite the bullet one of these days or one of these Fridays and buy some more schnapps because I really like doing the schnapp like liquor reviews ooh that tastes like green apple coming up I know I want to do when I get the chance to <clears throat> when you get the fucking money to if you can no, buy money for, 
if your money boss allows be, you to work. Money won't be an issue uh, when I get my tax return. Basically. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. There's that. Um, I'm not going to use all of them like I did last year. I no, I would get the essentials. I, honestly, I would put a little bit aside for a new TV, a bigger TV. Well, actually, I'm trying to get my license now. Besides the point, I'm wanting to do a video on Goschlager. That's one of my favorites. I think it's made by Schnapps. Uh, well, Schnapps is a, uh, not really a brand. Schnapps is more of a line of alcohol. There are several different manufacturers that make Schnapps. I don't know. Whoever makes Goschlager, that shit's good. Uh, I can actually tell you right now. However, it's a lot better than Red uh, Fireball. Because it's like the clear version. Well, if we're being honest, Hot Damn is better than Fireball. Fucking Tennessee Fire is better than Fireball. Goldschlag is way better than Fireball, buddy. It don't take much of Goldschlag to get you go. A bottle would probably fuck you up. It didn't take me much to get drunk off that fucking Hot Damn. It's become one of my favorites. But I like, I honestly, I like the flavored whiskeys. Let's see who makes those. Oh, it is a schnapps. Goldschlager is a cis winnemann schnapps. Country of origin, Switzerland. Yep. Um, I like drinking the imported alcohols. I do like drinking domestic alcohols like uh, um, Jack Daniels. Tennessee Whiskey, Jim Beam, uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, F. and Williams. I like drinking them all. But I tell you, when it comes to the more sweeter liquors, the really the only place you're going to find sweet liquors is in other countries. This is imported from Modesto, California. Okay. I like how it says imported. It's like they're not even considering California a U.S. state anymore. <laughs> but um no I'd go ahead and give the uh, Jim Beam Apple uh, what did I say a 5.5 yeah it's good cheap if you like apple. Uh, apple flavored stuff I'd recommend picking it up they got an apple flavored of this I've seen some uh, speaking of alcohols I uh we, we uh was getting ready to leave and like we passed by the more expensive shit like we seen one bottle of alcohol that costs like eighty fucking dollars. The most expensive I, oh, yeah, I've ever seen is two hundred fifty dollars for a special edition bottle of Hennessy. Back when uh, Obama was president, when he was elected, they had a special bottle of him on it. You know, that shit, two hundred fifty dollars. I've seen alcohols go all the way up as as the three hundred dollars. If not more. But this was pretty cheap for a half gallon. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Half. It's kinda it got that same taste that Jim Bean Vanilla has, but in an apple form. I still like the peach. Mm hmm. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. What about you? Uh, that's it for me. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be alerted when we upload new videos. Anyways, I am Mr. J. And I'm Mode. And we are signing out.